Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So today, as y'all saw by the title, I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me makeup routine talk with me life update type of video. So I'm sitting in front of my window right now because the lighting here is so much better. The only thing is it's a little bit louder. <laughs> because we're right by the, the window and the train. Here comes another train. I'll just wait a second. Don't look at my desk, it's kinda messy. Okay. So, we're gonna start with my base first. So, also to start, I've already washed my face, and then this is the moisturizer that I use. It's a dupe of the, what is it, CeraVe lotion, and it's cheaper. It's really good. I definitely recommend it. It's made my skin nice and soft. So, yeah. Alright, for base, we're going to go in with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in the shade buff beige or number 130 it's like a I would say like a mix between a skin tint foundation and then you just twist it to have the product come out and what I'm gonna do is just apply it like this and do a few streaks on my cheeks to kind of get rid of this red hyperpigmentation okay so I'm kind of covering my cheeks it is a little bit darker than my skin than my skin color as you can see it's a bit tanner but we will get it nice and matched with another product and then I'm gonna take this flat brush from do care i don't know what number this is but we're just going to buff it out all right the biggest thing going on right now is i have covid yeah i don't know when this video is going to come out but i got covid right before the 4th of July, which sucks so much. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had COVID this whole entire pandemic. And so it really sucks. I have such a sore throat, I'm coughing. All right, so this is blended in. You can kind of see it's like a little bit like tan yellow. So we're gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. And this is in the shade Fair Beige. My shoulders just cracked. I've been so bored because all I can do really is just sit in my room. So my 4th of July plans got canceled, which I was honestly looking forward to. And I can't go see fireworks or any of that. So I have been watching a lot of YouTube, a lot of Netflix. This is the Luxie 150 Flat Angled Blender I'm going to be taking. So, yeah. I finished Stranger Things Volume 2. Um, I did cry multiple times in the last episode but I think everybody did I loved Eddie so much um I don't understand Mike I really don't I, I, I don't like Mike I love Finn Wolfhard I think he's an amazing actor but Mike's character just rubs me the wrong way 
Um, the thing with concealer, you want to let it sit a little bit, especially for under your eyes. You want to let it just soak into the skin for a moment and then blend. But yeah. I feel like it was really overhyped, especially online and stuff. And then it was kind of like, I don't know, disappointing almost when not much really happened. But that's okay. It was so good. But yeah, I've been quarantined. I've been quarantining. Um, I can't go back to work until Thursday. Um, if my COVID test is negative, so we will see. But I've been chilling, going insane. But what can you do? What can you do? Can't really do much. So, yeah. Let's have a little bit more concealer now. I haven't done a makeup routine really on my channel, except for the one early on. And I look back on that video and I'm like, what was I doing? I was so annoying. And the routine was so bad too because I, I had no idea what I was doing so if you want a makeup routine don't follow that one all right I think we're good now I'm actually gonna take a little bit of concealer for my cheeks this is like the thing I like to do um to kind of color correct my hyperpigmentation I've always had red cheeks my whole life and it's the worst because if I get hot or if I start blushing my cheeks get so red for no reason or people think I'm blushing when I'm like just hot or my cheeks are just red and I'm like no I'm not embarrassed I'm just I just have red cheeks like it's just what it is okay if you guys can hear the train I apologize Okay, now I'm going to take the Revlon Color Stay Translucent Powder and then this little fluffy Ducare brush. And we're going to powder our whole face. I get oily, so it is essential to powder. I don't use primer or anything. Um, I've tried it and it just, I don't know wasn't a huge fan. I never put makeup on my forehead either. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm also really, really excited for Lollapalooza. If any of you guys are going, comment down below. I'm going all four days. Um, I've never gone ever in my whole life, and I'm super excited. Okay, now we're going to curl my eyelashes. This is the key. Buy yourself an eyelash curler. It changes your mascara um, so much. Even if you're not wanting to wear makeup, just curl your lashes in the morning, brush your brows out, and you look so put together, like awake. Like it just brightens your whole entire face up.
Why is it like that right now? Okay. Now there's a siren, there's police. Now I'm going to take this buxom. I'm going to take this buxom mascara now. And we're going to apply that. I also started my internship last Monday and I really like it. I also don't know how people work. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit like, I don't know. I definitely don't like the nine to five idea. I don't know who does, but like I work eight to two and I don't understand how people do that every day for the rest of their lives and it's really freaky to me but yeah other huge thing that happened recently um women's abortion rights have gotten taken away which is very enraging. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Sonia Kashuk crayon, and it's just the white one, and I'm gonna put on my waterline. Can y'all see everything I'm doing? Okay. I really don't know what's going on in my, I mean, in the world right now, um, because if you're raped and you're in a state where you can't get an abortion um, and you can't find a way to get it illegally done and you have to give birth to your rapist child is mind-blowing to me um, and it's like why do people care so much about what we as women do with our bodies I never really understood why people think they should make laws or stuff over people's bodies like what I feel like when the news came out I was really numb because like with the Black Lives Matter movement and stuff I'm like I'm not surprised my rights are getting affected in other women because if this is what black people are going through and people of color are going through already like they're just gonna keep stripping everyone's rights away like I don't know it's scary like are women's voting rights gonna get taken away um like it's it's frightening to say the least all right now we have the white liner on and now we're going to do some brow gel. This is one I use. It's this Wet n Wild clear gel. I guess the thing is just like, even if you like are pro-life, like, who cares what people do with their bodies? You know what I mean? Like, okay. I, I hear you life starts in the womb wherever they say but if if women aren't ready to care for a child why should they have to have it 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 just doesn't make sense to me if you're not financially stable if you are not emotionally and mentally ready for a child why should you even have it like you want that kid to grow up not feeling loved do you want that kid to grow up in the foster care system and get abused i'm like what the fuck no doesn't make sense okay i'm then gonna do some mascara on my bottom lashes because we just need a little a little more there we go
Uh, I don't know. It's really scary to think about like the rise in sexual assault and rape. All right, then I'm gonna use some Aquaphor because we're just about down here. And then I'm gonna take this NYX lip liner. It's in the shade Plum. And I'm gonna line my lips with it. It's, it's the like exact shade of like the outside of my lips. A little bit, a little bit darker. That's so cute. This is so random. But if you work in fast food, I love you guys because fast food workers are some of the sweetest people you will meet. The people that are rude to customer service people like at restaurants and stuff y'all can go y'all can go burn in hell literally like nowadays so many people don't say please don't say thank you like what is like what has happened to people i'm like and y'all can't tip either this is my makeup routine if i'm going out and want a nice little base look it's not too much sometimes though i will say um if i want a little bit more coverage i'll do this foundation on my cheeks and then i go a little bit more heavy with the concealer on my cheeks to fully correct the redness because you can still see a little bit um but if i want it fully gone i'll do a layer of the concealer go over with foundation and then maybe a little bit more concealer to have it all blend out Bye guys, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Four, 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 four.